the web content monitor committed to your tutu world and our topic today is very very important uh, and that is overview of blood transfusion overview of blood transfusion as we all know that blood is very very important in our body and we cannot do without blood that's why we're looking to the topic overview of blood transfusion Blood transfusion, which can be devised as transfer of blood cell or blood product from one person, that is donor, into another person's bloodstream, that is recipient. Uh, this is usually done as a life saving maneuver to replace lost blood cell or blood product. Having said that, let's quickly look into indication for blood transfusion. Indication for, of, uh, for, for blood transfusion. They include surgery, injury or trauma, illness as in leukemia, severe anemia, uh, disease conditions as in heart disease, kidney or renal disease, um, bleeding disorders as in hemophilia, and the likes. And we said that now, let's quickly look uh, into uh, responsibility of healthcare provider for blood transfusion. Responsibility of healthcare provider for blood transfusion of course when we talk about blood transfusion uh we cannot talk about blood transfusion without talking about uh responsibility before the transfusion during the transfusion and of course after the transfusion now let's quickly look into them before the transfusion as healthcare provider the first thing to do is to confirm that the blood uh transfusion has been ordered you check that the that the uh, patient's blood has been typed, that is grouped and cross match. Explain the procedure to the patient. Educate the patient on the clinical features of transfusion reaction, such as uh, itching, uh, shortness of breath, uh, chest pain, uh, rigor, fever, chin, and the lights. You uh, check the patient's vital sign. To establish a baseline for uh, for comparing fighter sign during transfusion, um, use the patient uh, uh, blood grouping and cross matching form to obtain blood from the blood bank. Um, then you double check the label, uh, the label of the blood bank with your doctor to make sure that the uh, ABO group and the resource type. Uh, agree with the patient uh, compartment uh, record. You also ensure that the line of the blood bank uh, corresponds with the line of the patient uh, compartment uh, chart. Then you, you check the blood for gas bubble uh, for any unusual color, cloudiness, and the light. Uh, you can now wheel your trolley to the uh, patient's bedside with your trolley. If the blood is too cold, uh, put it inside a bowl of tepid water for some minutes to make the, uh, the temperature of the blood to make the temperature of the blood equal to the body temperature. Note and uh, document the time of commencement of the blood transfusion, and you are good to go. So. During transfusion, um, during transfusion, the first in the first fifteen minutes, uh, you run the transfusion slowly, and you observe the patient carefully for adverse effects. You monitor the factors at regular time, fifteen minutes, thirty minutes, uh, thirty minutes hourly, and so on, so on like that. Uh, should any uh, any reaction occur or should any adverse reaction occur uh you reduce the flow rate or stop the transmission immediately notify the doctor and quickly follow your institution uh, uh transmission reaction uh, treatment outline encourage patient to verbalize uh, any abnormal feelings during transmission and of course can also monitor the fluid intake and output so jumping away from that let's quickly look at uh, uh, responsibility after transfusion if this continuing transfusion 
you note and document the time of completion of the transfusion, you check the patient vital sign and compare it with this line uh, measurement. Document a patient uh, tolerance to procedure. Then you monitor the patient for late adverse reaction to blood uh, transfusion. Having said that now, so let's now quickly look into complications of uh, blood transfusion. Complications of blood transfusion. Of course, we have the immediate reaction and we have delayed reaction of blood transfusion. Now let's look into them. Immediate reactions include um, fibrile or null hemolytic reaction, uh, such as nausea and vomiting, uh, rigor fever, and the likes. We have anaphylactic or allergic reaction, such as uh, urticarium itching, uh, mahagia, atasia, and the likes. We also have um, air embolism, uh, circulatory overload, cardiac arrest. Uh, hemolytic reaction too and of course let's quickly look into delayed reaction delayed in reaction includes thrombophlebitis uh, transmission of uh, diseases such as HIV hepatitis, malaria and of course syphilis too I hope with this with this I'll be able to pass across something to us and if you uh, and if you if you find this uh, video useful, you might want to give me a thumbnail and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube channel, uh, type packaging 14 and click on the subscribe button. Boom, you are good to go. So till I come your way next, always remember it is worth. I'm Emma. Allah to you. Stay safe and stay healthy. I say bye for this moment.